Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another Timeless video. So today we're going to be taking a look at Mono Black Devotion in Timeless format. Now this variant of Mono Black is going to be a little bit different compared to the ones that we played in this channel. This version of the deck is abusing the fact that we get to play with Nykthos trying to Nyx. This card is going to ramp us really hard in this deck, especially considering the fact that in this format you can turn one Necropotence, which is triple black, which means it's also going to fuel the Nykthos for three Devotions. And we're also playing two copies of Mihook Massacre. And this card is basically going to act as a board wipe that is also going to generate some devotions for our Nykthos, which is going to be fantastic. And in some scenarios, you might even want to consider playing this for X equals zero because this does generate net neutral mana with Nykthos. But the end goal of this deck is basically get to Grey Merchant, aka the Gary, and nuke our opponent for a lot of damage. Because hopefully by then you have some Necropotences on the battlefield because in this particular deck you do want to play extra Necropotence onto the battlefield because it does generate devotion for our deck. So once Gary does come down, it's going to deal a lot of damage. So having said that, we're going to be jumping into some Timeless Best of 3 to show you guys how the deck does. So let's hop on over. <laughs> If we get thought seized, we are in deep trouble. But if we don't, this is a hand. Okay, once upon a time. I'm guessing this is field? Okay, it is. Can a Devotion deck beat a Field deck? Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm gonna draw four. I'm looking for lands. Actually, let's draw five. Okay. Ooh, beautiful. Um, we don't need that. We might need a bunch of uh, one rings together versus their field deck, though. Probably Kozilek bad, right? What's my next turn? Play a land and Orcish Bowmaster, right? I do have the march, which is nice. There's that spelunking. They ramp pretty fast, honestly. Don't like to see that. Okay, so... Bottom the Takenuma. It'd be nice... If they don't have a prime Primeval Titan in their hand. But of course they do, okay. Yeah, this is not looking good. I need a few more turns. I need- I actually needed one more turn. Okay, so the plan is I think we one ring here. Can I play Shaldred at the same time? So, Dark Ritual. Three. 
four mana. I don't think we can shoulder it plus that. Right? So... Three. And then we exhaust two of them to generate four. Five, six. We have six mana total. Oh boy. I think it is one ring. We one ring here. We draw two. <laughs> this is... This is crazy. Yeah, we don't block. We're gonna have to draw with the one ring so we can get some life with the Sheldred. Now, if we sh if we can get just one more dark ritual here, it would be perfect. Come on, one more dark ritual. Two hours later. What what's the hold up here? What's going on? <laughs> We're going to be able to buy a lot of turns, though. Draw. Oh, that actually might do it. That might let us play one more card. Okay, come on, opponent. Like, wh why are you holding full control? Three to generate. Five. I think that's exactly enough. Hold up. So we get the shoulder down. Draw. Now we have six mana available. We're gonna have to one ring. And then if we draw exactly some black cards, we can march. This is, um... I don't think that's enough. Tap. One ring. Draw. Now we can kill the Primeval Titan for seven. Two, four, six, seven. Now we go back up to a lot of life. Then we can draw more with Necropones. We're still protected. And then next turn, we're gonna grab Karn, play the Karn, 
And we're gonna grab the Silex. Oh, there's <laughs> there's Gary. And that was only possible because we get to play Nykthos. Okay, let's draw. They do have a wooded foothill, so yeah. Play the land. We have seven mana. We have seven mana. Let me see here. Sacrifice Filigree Silex, destroy each non-land permanent with mana value equal to the number of oil counters. So zero oil counters will destroy. their stuff there. Then we'll grab Silex. I'll draw two. We'll discard these lands and pass. Okay, Dark Ritual is actually pretty hot. So we'll just sacrifice this. Kill the zombies. Very nice. Didn't even have to use a one ring there. So that's actually fantastic. Okay, there's another Titan. I wonder... Um, six, seven, eight... We have 8 mana next turn, 11 with Dark Ritual, no, 10 with Dark Ritual. And with the Karn, we'll just uh, pit thing needle the, the Blast Zone. Draw a bunch of cars here. A dark ritual. Unfortunately, we actually have to tap the Nyctos first there. Um, we'll just Grey Merchant. Hit them for a lot of damage. And, you know, we're just going to, uh, one ring again. Okay, we don't care about that. Then we're going to grab a Pithing Needle. Wait. Where's my Pithing Needle? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, we have double filigree Silex for some reason. Okay, mission, uh, mission failed. Okay, well that just happened. Mm -mm. 
Uh, okay. Some easy blocks. I don't know why they attacked. Like, they know they have a blast zone, right? Like, why'd they do that? I guess they can, like, play the Blast Zone. They're trying to crack it on their turn, right? Also, where's my Grey Merchant? <laughs> where's my Grey Merchant? Hello? I mean, since I have double Silex, might as well use it. Let us begin. For Fencer. You know, just might as well use it. Oh yeah, I could have just demonic tutored and won the game by searching the Grey Merchant. Eh, mistakes were made. Oh, we'll just do it next turn. Yeah, let's actually win it like that. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off here. That's fine. Yeah, why didn't I think about that? Like, I clearly have a Demonic Tutor here. Clearly. Alright, let's win the game. GG's. Okay, so against this deck, I want some Ash Yawks. Definitely want some Ash Yawks. Um, do I want Mi Mihook Massacres? I think Inquisition is kind of bad against their deck. Unless they bring in some like Pitting Needles and stuff. Um, same with Fatal Push. Fatal Push seems kind of meh. Is Fatal Push better than Inquisition? I think they're about the same, to be honest. But since I'm going second, I guess Fatal Push is a little bit more valuable. Since I can disrupt their like natural order and stuff. Ooh. Huh. I wonder. I wonder if this is too slow. Let's find out. Okay, well, if they're doing this now, then I think it's going to be okay. Spelunking. Okay. So we'll Ashiok first. Hmm, what is a stop? So they clearly have a one drop, but they're refusing to use it. So I'm kind of guessing it's, um, natural order in their hand. That's probably what they have. Beg for your life. It makes your nightmares. I leave you with one last... Yeah, that's a terrible mill. That was actually such an awful mill. Stone brain. Does this even work? Because it says search. Can't cause their controller to search. Oh, it says search their library, but they can search mine. Okay. All right. 
So what about here? Am I supposed to play Necropones or Shieldred? I think I'm going to play Necropones. Because this one generates a little bit more um, devotion, right? We'll also uh, mill them. Tyne gone, Blast Zone gone. Ooh, Grey Merchant. I wonder if I should actually play Necropones just to generate more devotion. I guess Takenuma doesn't work anymore because of Necropones. So let's let's actually do this. Sylvan's Crying doesn't work. Plays the Generous Ant. <clears throat> okay. So we can Dark Ritual. Hit you. This will just play Shieldred. Hmm, we're a little bit off, huh? Let's just uh, play this to generate more devotion. Why not? We'll also mill them. Oh, double field gone! That's actually so sick. Okay, opponent's dead. <laughs> yeah, they're dead. They are quite dead. <laughs> Okay, that's additional three burn. Isn't Ashok nice? Quite the card, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> okay, this game is officially over. Wow, not even gonna see my Gary. Not even gonna see my Gary. It's unfortunate. Hmm. I don't think this is it. Well, we're gonna have to die trying. I guess um, I won't show them the swamp. Not yet. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh. Imagine playing the scar spells. Such a scam. It is such a scam. That is insane. That is insane. You know what? Maybe I should thought seize. Wow, not even letting me see your deck. Okay, so um the only information that I have is they played Kozilek into Thought Seas, they and they played Swamp Swamp and Overgrown Tomb. It could just be a mono black deck that's um splashing green for maybe um a shaman. We'll just press go again. I have no information what they're playing. Okay. Oh, it could just be a Golgari deck. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably just a Golgari deck. Because I don't, I don't think you would see a black deck just play a forest. Necromancia? That's a little bit... Really? Wait, you just gave me a zombie for free? What? What is going on? Uh, what is going on? Okay. Let's just play this out for zero. So we can get this devotion going. And now, everything that gets killed deals one damage to them. And we also have a Necropone sub, which is very nice. Opponent. <laughs> That's a lot of discard spells, I'm not gonna lie, but... In the end... Boom. Easy game. Like, okay, like this deck's top decks are so good, I feel like you should have definitely necromancia either Necropotence or the other, right? Like, I feel like that's a bit of an oversight, to be fair. Okay, I mean, I'll give you that. Sheldred is a pretty powerful card. I mean, I could just... Hmm, what should I do? Play the other Necro... Pones? Okay. The thing is, Sheldred actually doesn't deal any damage to us, so... I could have also attacked with a zombie and a 1 1, but I don't think it's that necessary. We have so much devotion. Where are you, Gary? <laughs> Where's my Gary? Where's my Gary?
Hello? <laughs> Liliana. A fight? And you think you okay, I'll discard a swamp. You won't be outsmarting me. Two, four, two, three, four, five, six. I'm dealing six damage. Uh I mean I have just so much. So much mana. I mean, do we care about Liliana? They're at two. Okay, GG's opponent. Playing against the Giganta, huh? And I'm going second? If this is a domain deck, this is this has to be a mulligan, right? Is it? I guess I can go Thoughtseize first, Bajuka Bog, and then Necropones. Right? Okay, that's uh, concerning. It's a little concerning. Just a tiny bit. I'm kind of really digging the um, Nykthos, honestly. It's been good. It's been very good. Wow, not exiling and playing the Orcish Bowmaster. Instead, they want to end up turn Brainstorm. Okay. Wait, they didn't fetch Oko? Huh? <laughs> What's going on? What's happening here? Wait, was I actually supposed to fetch... Was I actually supposed to play Dark Ritual? Did they actually grab a Spell Pierce? No way, right? Main deck? Okay, it's it's a counter spell. Okay, that's fine. Like it's a little bit annoying, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. I, you're not playing a spell. You're not even attacking. What? Okay, there's that Bowmaster. Let's not go down too much, since uh, let's respect their Deathrite Shaman. Ooh, Meat 
Hook Massacre. What a card. Okay, Oko's a little bit concerning, actually. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. Game that was actually kind of insane. Put on your true shape. That was a really good draw. So yeah, I think we're kind of dead. Uh, let's say I nick those. It's not enough, right? Yeah, it's not enough. Um, I gain three? I gain three? Um, let's say they attack, and we can draw one more card. Shouldred. Okay, once upon a time. We do have a six. Oh my god. Okay, it wouldn't actually have mattered whether or not we actually um, didn't draw that card. Because they would have they would have three bodies here for that uh, next turn I play corn, so it wouldn't have mattered. That was pretty insane. Um, okay, um, let's bring some Ashyoks in. Is it Ashyok or Leyline? Maybe it's Ley Line. Yeah. Kind of like the Ley Line. Meat Hook has been pretty good so far. Um, Shouldred and One Ring is going to be a little bit worse in this matchup. Maybe I even take it out entirely. Yeah, this is our bad matchup, right? With Oko. Okay, um... This hand is decent. They kept the one lander. Wow. Incredible! Should I just run this out? I mean, it does give me devotion. I don't have ring anymore in this deck, so let's just... Okay, they just surrender. A little bit impatient, I gotta say. Like, I feel like they could have still waited, like, maybe two more turns. Maybe Shouldred is also not that good because... I mean, it does punish them for drawing a lot. I really want at least two one rings. How do we fit that in? How do we fit at least two One Rings? Maybe... I mean, like, if I'm not playing four copies of Leyline, why, what am I playing? Why am I playing this card, right? Maybe Thoughtseize. Okay. Let's keep that. Mistress Bubble, me. Well, Fatal Push. Hopefully we draw a land soon. That'd be nice. 
So this is memory lapse. No. Okay, they thought he's thinking that we only had one necropones. Ooh, please give me a um, dark ritual. Okay. I think I have to uh, pass here. I don't think I can march. In case of like another thought seize or something like that. I see. So this is a counter spell. It's an Orkish Bowmaster plus a Memory Lapse. Huh. I think I have an idea. I think I'm going to pass here. I'm going to Fatal Push the Deathrite Shaman on their turn. And I'll march for one on the Orkish Bowmaster. So let's kill that. Really? Wait, was it actually test of talent and not a memory lapse? No way. Yeah, I'm going to say no way to that. Hmm. I actually have been played like a little fiddle. Should I get rid of a Grey Merchant or Shaldred? I guess I should get rid of um, Grey Merchant. Because I have three more copies of it. Whereas Sheldred, I only have one more copy. And it's not like I can play Grey Merchant the turn after Necropones, right? Hmm, that's actually interesting what they did there. I guess I don't need to do it anymore. Definitely seems like an oops. Oh, good thing I killed the Orcish Bowmaster there. That would have been a disaster. Since I drew one ring. Is four gonna be enough to get a land? I'll, I'll go... I'll go six. Because I really need to guarantee a land here. Or a Nykthos. No Nykthos. It's fine. Well, it's not fine. Okay, they play Mishra's Bauble. Is this a bait to play Orcish Bowmaster on my turn? Oh, that's fine. This is perfect, so even if they do have a counter spell, I can play the Necropones. It would be a shame if they have another... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, like, if they have another... If they had another, um... Bowmaster, that would've been a, kind of a disaster, right? I'll draw only four here. Nice, we got the Nykthos. 
Our best call. Ooh, base a a bajuka bog, not a not a baseju. Look at all these wonderful cards. The Gary's coming. Who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who rules them? Let's broaden your existence. Okay, we block there. Okay, so Nick those. We can't play the Sheldred first, right? So, I mean, I could actually play Mihook Massacre for free. I guess that's something we can do. For six, we can go One Ring plus Orcish Bowmaster. I guess we could just... You know what? Let's just Gary. Why not? We want to draw some cars anyways, right? This is 9 damage. And we'll just draw a million cars here. Hoping we get another Gary. Maybe six will do? Okay, let's go to seven. Let's not even attack. Assert dominance. Where's my Gary? What the heck? Hello? Oh, there's only one Gary in top 30? Are you kidding me? I think a little merriment is in order. There goes the Mihook. The Mihook's coming. Let's attack face. Okay, we knew that was gonna happen. We're also gaining life by doing this. Just uh, play the Sheldred. GG's. That's a style choice. Undefeated. Undefeated. Alright, so we played four games with this deck, and we went undefeated. Yeah, kind of crazy, like, kind of crazy if you ask me. So, from my findings, Nykthos is literally the greatest card ever in this deck. Like, it's not even a question. Like, turn one, Dark Ritual, I don't know, turn two, play Mi Mihook Massacre, or like, I don't know, Bowmaster, and Nykthos already generates positive mana, like, that's kind of insane. And the Mihook Massacre is so great in this deck because, again, it 
generates double black. Just a free mana, right? At any point, you can just play this out, x equals zero, and that sets up for future turns, making Nykthos into greater threat. Funny thing is, Gary did come down multiple times, but it didn't actually finish our opponent. It's usually our opponent just leaving with the Gary in our hand. Maybe they just expect the Gary in our hand, or sometimes it just doesn't show up like last game. Like, I drew 30 cards and I only saw one Gary. I mean, Gary did 11 damage by himself, so... It's, uh, unironically... This deck is kind of playable, which is a bit surprising. Like, I fully expected that this deck might struggle against, especially like, um, Saltai mid-range. I, I think this deck will 100% struggle against Domain deck, but I'm actually surprised that it was able to beat a Saltai mid-range. I think if you can get the early Mana Dorks out with Fatal Pushes, March, and then like Thossies away the Oko, I think like that's gonna help you a lot and then if they start spamming the board then you can meet Hulk Massacre and just generally just any matchup you have Karn as well to get some sideboard cards. We only play two Karns that's why we don't really have like a fully dedicated sideboard for the Karn and I think that's okay like only playing two copies of Karn. As for the sideboard the three Ash Shock that I put in actually came in clutch versus versus the field matchup which is sweet. And then we have four copies of Leyline of the Void. Not only does this card become like a graveyard hate against the breached combo decks, but it also generates devotion as well, right? On turn zero. So it makes Nykthos stronger, and then hence you have a lot more mana to work with. So, I mean, that's about it. Honestly, the sideboard is just Karn's sideboard. You have the Tormod's Crypt for graveyard hate. Graph Digger's Cage if you want to stop them from natural ordering. If you still haven't found the Ashiok, Liquid Metal Coating to destroy lands. Filigree Silex is basically to get rid of tokens, as you've seen from the field matchup. And you have the One Ring to fetch with the, the Karn, so that now you have four copies of One Ring. And you also have a... We do have a lot of One Drops, as you can see here. So obviously Chalice of the Void is also going to work against us, but the reason for Chalice of the Void in the sideboard is so that you want to play it against a deck that if they don't play their one mana spell, they lose the game. So for example, so like any decks that like abuse a lot of Dark Ritual, that could be a target where get the Chalice out with the corn, right? So that's why the Chalice is there and you have a Pitting Needle. You can shut down like Blast Zone, you can shut down Planeswalkers, or let's say if opponent played Necropotence and you you didn't, then you can grab a Pithing Needle and lock your opponent out. That's also an option as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far, and if you did, as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.